Oh yes, yesterday it was all about Pinside Top 100 from 1 to number 30. If you didn't check that video out, go ahead and do so. Today we're gonna look at number 31 down to 60 if we can do it in under 10 minutes. So let's go with number 31, Scooby Doo. Guys, I haven't that much experience with Spooky Pinball because every time I watch these YouTube videos, people are saying they're not holding up, so we don't dare to sell them as distros here in Denmark, so I don't know. 31, is it good, is it bad? I have no idea. Rick and Morty, I love the theme. Scooby-Doo, I don't care about the theme. But Rick and Morty, great theme, the game looks really fun. Haven't tried it. <laughs> Spider-Man, man, I was crazy with it 15 years ago. But up at number 33, uh, I know of some better game. It's a fine shooter, but I would prefer a lot of other games. So this should be lower, man. Mandalorian shouldn't even be on this list. 34, that's completely ludicrous. Scared Stiff, what a nice game from Bella Williams, 1996. 4,000 produced, very, very fun callouts. Love that game. At 35, it could be a bit higher. It could be definitely higher than Mandalorian, higher than Tron. It's an okay game. Theater of Magic from 1995. This game at number 36, too high. This should be about 125. Theater of Magic, it's the first three weeks, it's overwhelming. It's woohoo, but after three weeks, it gets old. Old and boring and old, so go away with Theater of Magic. Simpsons, I hate the theme. For me, number 37, it's ludicrous, but some people likes it because of the code, so I think it's well placed there. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from Stern is definitely much, much better than a lot of these games. A lot of these games. It's, it's, it's an underrated game. It's a cool game. So at 38, it should be higher. Alien, it's a wide body game, guys. It has got one of the best theme integrations, music. I mean, the whole audio package. I really, really like it on this game. It's awesome. Number 39, no, it should be higher up, absolutely higher up. Again, Ghostbusters is a hard game with the flipper cap and all of that, all of that. but at number 40, I think some people are frustrated with it, that's why it's this low, but it's a beautiful pin, absolutely. Wizard of Oz at 41, that's too, too high, too high, it should be lower. Uh, the theme is just meh and shots on layout, meh. <laughs> Dialed in, dialed in is much, much better than Wizard of Oz. Much better. It's a, such a cool shooter's game. I like dialed in. I would take it up at the 30s. Absolutely. I love that game. Weird, weird else of mu Museum of Net. What is this? Weird. Oh, oh! This is the um, uh, this is the pinball machine with the big screen. This is a virtual pinball, guys. I have no idea why. Why is why is Weird Al on this list? It's not a pinball machine. Go away! Whitewater, absolutely amazing. Bella Williams game from 1993. I love this. The humor shots, ramps are amazing on this game. Wow! It's a ramp. Ram game should definitely be higher than number 44. Ellis Cooper, again, another spooky. I don't dare buying them because of the quality. Ah, but I have you know I have no experience with myself. Circus Wall Chair is much, much better than Theater of Magic. At 46, it's well placed. Walking Dead from Stern. This game has one of the best codes, man. This is maybe better code than Lord of the Rings. I love this game. But again, Walking Dead is a hard design, hard layout. It has a, got a lot of drain shots straight down the toilet. So that's why I think that this one is rated this low. This game, Walking Dead, should definitely, definitely be higher up than number 47. Absolutely. The Hobbit, guys, The Hobbit from Jersey Jack. It's almost 10 years old. This game is awesome. I love the shots and layout. It's an open play field, but it has got these pop-up target, pop-up things that pops up, just like on the Medieval Madness. It's a fun game. I like it. 
well placed at 48 i would like it to be a bit higher up than 48 absolutely man absolutely there's some ludicrous games in here <laughs> Black Knight, Sword of Rage, I have the Illy and Pro, I like the Pro's gameplay much, much better. So, at 49, I could take it a bit higher, higher up. It, it, it's a cool game, man, that Knight is cool, if you have the topper, it's cool. This Shadow, this Shadow was a cheap game for many, many years, nobody wanted it. Clunky, clunky ramps, and you divert the ramps, and they're getting more clunkier. Super cool, upper play field, super cool magnet. But it was a cheap game, it cost about thousand dollars years back, just like Just Dread, just like Demolition Man, just like Popeye. It was a cheap game until Zach Mini from flipping out talk so positive about the shadow and all of a sudden from the one day to another it just went up in popularity and now the shadow doesn't cost a thousand bucks anymore it costs five thousand what i if six thousand for a shadow that's laughable man no way it should definitely be lower than number 50. iron man from stern guys this is a uh, less is more pinball machine, pretty empty play field, but I'm telling you, it's a shooter's pin, it's a fun pin, at 51, hmm, it's much better than Shadow, it should definitely be higher up than that. St this Star Wars, it's my favorite theme, it's the best pinball theme in the world and it's the worst execution it's worse than mandalorian i don't get me started with star wars with gandalf callouts oh, i hate it it's such a disappointment shouldn't be on this list i need the whole pinball industry needs a proper style we have no star wars pinball machines that are worth buying nothing man nothing we need a proper star wars game now creature from the black lagoon at 53 that's all right it's a game from 1993 this one all of a sudden this wasn't that experienced i have you know 20 years of experience this one also went up in price 8600 get the hell out of here <laughs> That's just ludicrous. It's not that much. No way. Funhouse, what an awesome game. At 54. I thought this one was rated a bit higher. It's a cool game, man. I really like Funhouse. Kiss, I don't have that much time on it. It reminds me of Aerosmith. Yeah, it's okay at 55. Guardians at 56. That's too high. Should definitely be lower. Definitely be, be lower, man. But it's not a cool game. Dracula is one of them games. This was also a cheap game. Nobody wanted it, but now it gained popularity and it costs five thousand dollars now. Get the uh, oh! But when you buy a Bram Stoker's Dracula, the first three weeks you will be in love with it. I mean, in love with it, and then it will wear off because the code you have to uh, get three multiples running at one time and make 30 million jackpots. Yeah, that's about it. Next game is Total Nuclear, Nuclear Annihilation from Spooky. I haven't played this game again, another spooky game. But my dear friend Joel, he really loves this game, and I watched one of his gameplay videos. The music on this game was awesome, and it's you know just like the old belly, old belly games from eighty to eighty two with great music. I thought this one was a bit higher than fifty eight. I mean, how can it be under Guardians of the Galaxy, under Kiss, under Creature, under Star Wars? Oh man, come on. Next game on the list, Toy Story 4. No matter what you hear, Toy Story 4 is a super earner. It makes so much money out on locations here in Denmark. Oh my god, it's a money earner. At 59, it's well placed. And the last game on this video, Whirlwind. Down at number 60. Whirlwind is a top, top 15 game. Whirlwind is awesome. Whirlwind is magic. I love this game. It never gets old. I have played it for owned it for 20 years. I love Whirlwind. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Have a great day out there. Retro Django out.